So your immediate thoughts on the game? Uh, it wasn't vintage, was it? It wasn't a classic. Um, obviously, really happy with the two points. Um, <clears throat> happy with the win, but um, yeah, I thought Cornwall made it very difficult afternoon for us today. I was uh, pretty disappointed with some of the tries we conceded, but you know, at the end of the day, it's job done. Uh, we thought they'd come and try and spoil our players and get amongst us and rattle us a little bit, and they certainly did that. So, um, yeah, two points in the bag, uh, job done, but I think you know, we've got a few things that we need to fix up, ready for bigger challenges ahead. I thought the game got a little bit scrappy in the first half from both teams, poor discipline, uh, a yellow card for us and a red for them. Do you know, a much better discipline in the second half, was that a message at half time? Yeah, I think, I, I think, I'm not sure it was the whole of the first half, I just think it was the first 20 25 minutes was a real scrappy affair. As you rightly said, there are lots of penalties. I think we were, we were more guilty than they were. I think we gave six penalties in that first 25 minutes, which is not acceptable. Um, and then there was that altercation, Simbin in from Aiden, high shot, and then the, the sending off for a punch. It, yeah, it was a bit like that um, throughout the game, to be honest. But I just thought, you know, once we settled down in that second period of the first half, you know, last 15 minutes of that first half, we settled down a bit and got some points, some points on the board. I think it looks a little bit more relaxed, but yeah, certainly at, at, at 4 6 to Cornwall, it was a very ner nervy affair, and uh, I think we were guilty of a little bit of sloppy of play and some ill discipline. So we've got a break next week, and then looking over to work it in two weeks' time. Does that change your approach to training, not having a game next week? Um, no, we, yeah, well, we'll, you know, we've, we've, we'll probably have a, a, a long weekend off. We'll, we'll certainly train this week and get the boys in and see how we are recovery wise and stuff, but. Um, you know, we'll be back in next week, ready for uh, ready for Workington. So, you know, it, it does change things up a little bit. Um, it gives us a chance to give the boys a weekend with the family, and then we can get back on it. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll probably have a little bit of the time away, but not not too long. We, you know, obviously, our next focus is Workington, and that's a massive game for us. You know, we we uh, we lost up there at their place, so I think it's really important that we show up and play well when we when we uh, entertain them down at down at our place uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks' time. It wasn't just the first team playing today, we had the LD team making the debut with the Crown Oil and then the walking team playing as well for Superhero Day. What would you have to say to everyone that came out to Oh, what a, I mean, it's a fantastic, uh, a fantastic day. I, I watched the, the, the LDRL stuff and, and the walking stuff and it was great to see people out there in rugby field enjoying themselves, you know, and fantastic turnout as well. Um, massive, massive raps to all on it as, as ever and, and to Matt Rigby for, for, for all the organisation that he's done to put on a really good day and uh, I think it just showed the inclusivity of our sport and everybody involved in it. And I, I, I watched a bit of the games out there myself before we went out and it was just a, a joy to see people out on the rugby field enjoying, enjoying the sport of rugby league. And as far as anyone stick out to you for one of the match today? Uh, not particularly, I don't think there was any real individual that stood out. I, you know, Luke, Luke Forber continues to impress me with his workload. I thought, I thought he was really hard. I thought, I thought Foz had a, a, a dig as well. Ben Forster played really well with some of his carries. But um, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody stood out particularly for me. Uh, and I don't look for that really. I look for a, a team effort more than anything. You know, everybody's got a role in the team and everybody's got a job to do. And that's for me is my when I'm looking from a coaching point of view. I just want to make sure people are doing the jobs and doing the jobs to the best of their ability. And then if that happens collectively as a team, we should be okay.